Welcome back to the second installment of The Bite with LC. We will be continuing our conversation with horror author R.L. Stein. The Goosebumps series kicked off in 1995 with a fan favorite, The Haunted Mask. It features the story of Carly Beth, an 11-year-old girl who's not only kind, but she's timid and also very scarable. She seeks revenge on some neighborhood bullies and gets way more than she bargained for. But here's a warning. Be careful what you wish for. The TV series, that was the first TV series I'd ever had. And there we were, we were the number one kids show. The first show was a prime time show, The Haunted Mask, which is definitely, that's my best Halloween story. People always ask me my favorite goosebumps. I usually give a different answer each time, but a lot of times I say The Haunted Mask. And that's the only goosebumps book based on something that happened in real life. Really? It's the only one out of all of them. Absolutely. Nice when my son, Matt, was a little guy, it was Halloween time. He was down on the living room floor and he tried on a green rubber Frankenstein mask and he pulled it down over his head and then he couldn't get it off. <laughs> and I'm watching him from the doorway and I see he's tugging and he's tugging. And I thought, what a great idea for a story. I should have helped him, right? I didn't win the Good Parent Award that day but I got a really good book out of it. I went, I started making notes, the mask won't come off. And that's how that book got started. The, uh, the Goosebumps TV show was entirely a Canadian production. We actually filmed almost all of it in an old Molson brewery near the water in Toronto. I would do book signings here in the United States and kids would be in line and they would say, um, I, I'm an actor, I, how can I be on the Goosebumps show? And I'd say, well, you have to be Canadian. <laughs> and every time they said, what's that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> A tribute to our education system. It was really fun. Well, it's some time for the movie Goosebumps to finally come out. Is there any specific reason behind that? Uh, because no one could figure out which books to do. We had actually had a film contract 20 years ago, but uh, it, it took 23 years. But I think someone finally thought, well, we don't have to do a book. Why don't we do all of them in one? Yes. Why don't we do all the villains in one movie? And once they had that idea, then they, could, then they started to roll. So what a pleasure the movies turned out to be good. And Jack Black was just great. Oh, Jack Black is awesome. He did a great yeah. movie. Jack and I are like twins, right? Right? You do. People confuse us all the time. Okay, so thankfully we have Fear Street to help keep the fright alive for us, but there is other exciting news. A new Goosebumps series is coming our way. What can you tell us about it? I can't, nothing. There's nothing I can tell you. <laughs> I know almost nothing. I know uh, the producer from the Goosebumps movies is attached to the TV series. And, um, I think we got the director of the first Goosebumps movie who wants to work on the TV series. He's wonderful. And scripts are being written. You've scared, obviously, so many people, including <laughs> myself. <laughs> so we want to know, are you unscarable? I am unscarable when it comes to like movies, scary movies and scary books. I never get scared. How does it make you feel to know you had mentioned growing up it, you have to be really intrigued to read. You know, there's a lot of kids these days that are still uninterested in reading. How does it make you feel to know that you started that love for so many children to start reading again? Uh, my proudest achievement is the millions of kids who learn to read on my books. That's just a wonderful thing. It's not anything you think about when you start writing this stuff. But it's really true. You never get tired of hearing parents say, oh, my kid never read a book in his life. And I caught him reading your book under the covers in the middle of the night with a flashlight. I never get tired of stories like that. 